Welcome everyone, it's Adhan again for another Toy Box unboxing. Yeah, that's right, I bought a whole lot of Black Series 6 inch Star Wars figures because this is for the new Rogue One. Here we got KS... oh, K2SO. Yeah, I'm not going to get used to that anytime soon, so there we have it. But I mean, I had to pick up this figure because watching the trailer, I instantly fell in love with this guy. Because, I mean, he was like, hey, what's up? I hope I don't have to kill you, so I gotta buy the kill bot, you know? It's like a bender. <laughs> bender from Futurama. Alright, here we have it. I mean, this looks great. Let's crack him open. Doesn't look like he come with, comes with much. And, um, you know, I bought this one on Amazon for 19 bucks. Uh, so, again, not too thrilled about paying full retail value on a figure. So, when I saw that it was a dollar cheaper, yeah, I'm gonna hop on that for sure. So, let's take a look at this guy. Boom! There we go. Got our box right out of the box. Really long arms. This guy looks like such a character. Alright, so let's pop him out of this packaging. Boom! Man, standing tall like an iron giant. This guy is pretty unique. And you know what? I saw a couple of pictures online where he's actually um, uh, holding a blaster. Um, obviously, you can tell that it's just the standalone figure himself. Uh, no blaster, nothing extra. It's just him. I was kind of disappointed at that. But, you know, I had Captain Kinsan from a, uh, Cassian uh, from an earlier video that I did an unboxing. He came with two blasters. So, I mean, got plenty of blasters to go around, right? And let's see how this guy measures up, literally. Boom! Look at how tall this guy is, man. He's like a basketball player here. It's right around that 7-inch mark. Boom! And just to see where we got the rest of the bunch, we got, boom, Jin Urso, looking very small. And then, bam, Captain Cassian right next to him. So, I mean, taking a look at these figures... Yeah, I mean, this is perfect proportion. I'm really happy about this. You know, what Hasbro's doing with this whole Rogue One figure line, absolutely love it. Like what they're doing. 100% appreciate it. This is well worth it. Um, I would highly recommend. Pick them up. You're going to like them, posing them. Um, I'd like to see what you guys think about this. Um, you know, whether or not you, he came with a blaster when you guys bought him or whatnot. Really curious. Maybe there's a couple different versions of him. But either way, I'm happy. He looks pretty dope. Uh, alongside both of these, um, really happy. Alright, so there they are, fully action. They're ready to fight, they're ready for war. And uh, this figure, oops, man down. And I mean, these figures are absolutely great. Um, this new robot, I've got to say, he's got to be like one of my new favorite ones. Um, if you take a look, you know, they added some paint along uh, the inside of the trim here. And on the Under Armour, we'll say they did that a little rough. I don't know how that could have been done. Maybe a little bit neater, uh, preferably. Um, but um, you know what? Yeah, I mean, just a little attention to detail there. Uh, I, I still really like this figure. Um, his legs, even though they look very lengthy, he, they're very poseable. You could twist them. They twist right at the knee, which is uh, something different. It's like a you got this big old joint, a ball of the knee. And, you know, you could bend it all the way back, forward. Oh, that looks painful, dude. <laughs> and then just twist it all the way around. Same thing at the top right here. That just twists all the way around. So, I mean, you could come up with some kind of horror store for this guy. Um, same thing with the elbow. We got this uh, twist up here and then the twist on the uh, uh, bicep as well as the forearm. Um, not much. Uh, I mean, we got this, you know, really actually cool wrist movement here and uh, twists um, not much on the fingers his fingers don't actually move um, but you know what that's fine we actually see him on this hand holding that blaster from uh, Captain Cassian so he's ready to you know fight with the guys and uh, I mean you know what the uh, the top of the arm doesn't move much at all um, let's see there we go uh, it's just a little stiff actually well there you have it you know what? <laughs> this has got to be like one of the most posable figures that I've, you know, encountered um, aside from, you know, the SH figure arts line. But 
you don't have to spend like 50 40 bucks for a premium figure there you have it here he is you know it's killbot and we got a little emblem from the empire which is pretty awesome all right everyone's rebelling in this squad all right squad goals that's what i'm talking about well that's going to be it Savan from the break room blitz toy box unboxing this is our rogue one squad i'll be posting out more figures as they uh, obviously show up let me know what you think like and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments and have at it everyone rebel rebel scum